Welcome everybody. Today's tutorial is going to be a distressed text effect. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go get us some text. You're going to want something that's really, really thick. So I'm going to use this one right here because that is kind of thick, big and thick and juicy. Yes, yes, yes. Let's ungroup those. Take out the little pieces we don't want. We don't want those. We don't want those. And let's make it super duper big. Now what we're going to do now is I'm going to turn the colors the opposite way. So I want background black and I want my text to be white. So the next step we want to do, we want to go over into elements and then we want to look up splatter. So with the splatter, what you want to do, depend how heavy of a distressed effect you want, you're going to put bits of splatter. So let's go in here and see all and see the different types. All right, so I don't have the crown things. As most of you know, I don't have the pro version. I only have the free version. So with that, I am going to find what splatter that I really, truly like to kind of distress this out. So that looks good there. Let's do a few more of those randomly all over the place. Um, let's do this and let's spin it around a little bit to give it some more oomph. And we'll just duplicate that one and spin it or put it around a little bit and give us some distress. Let's do one more. Where'd it go? Okay, come on. All right, one more. And then let's put that over here like so. So now let's go pick another one out and see what they got over here. Um, I'm going to go with this one here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to put some of these up here that's kind of distressed. These are more circle-y, so if you want distress, I do like this one better that I'm using here for a distressed effect more than these little dots. So let's let's kind of stick with that, because I kind of like that for distress better than the other ones. So let's duplicate that. Let's just make it small, because it more looks like veiny and like kind of like, let's see, so I can show y'all which one that one is. That's this one right here, and this is the grunge paint splatter. So that's the one I'm using right here. So if y'all want to use that one. So let's just make some more copies of that. And it depends how uh, how much of a distress you want to look. If you want it a little bit, you want it a whole lot, that's up to you how you really want to make this look turn out. So, you know, we're just going to keep moving these all around and fill up our page the way we want to. Let's put a little bit there and then... Let's spin that and give it a little bit of spin. And then we'll do like one more in this little dry area here. And then, hey, come on. That one's uh, that one's empty. All right, let's put some over here. Hey, come on. The bee is naked. Let's get some. Yeah, let's get some over here on the bee. So what also I want to do, because I want to kind of keep my, you don't have to, but you can if you want to. This is going to be a personal preference for you. So what you want to do is go into your position over here and you want to get your click on this and you want to duplicate that. That's up. It, like I said, it will be a personal preference. If you want to kind of make that outliner a little bit hard, um, you go into effects. You're going to do hollow. I would do a really thin, thin one right there just to kind of outline your words and line them up. Come on. There you go. Line it up. That way you can see your edges of your words. But if you want to keep it where it's like really distressed, you can. But if you kind of want it hardcore distressed and you still want to be able to tell what that word is, you can do it that way. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to go real quick. I have to go out of Canva to go do my background. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download this right here and... I am going to go and put it into my background remover. Now that I have removed my background, I can go back in here and we can, let's, let's go and put another color back here so you can see the difference. So let's go now, hey, let's have fun and put a gradient back there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload my uh, picture that I just got from the background remover. And now you can see that it's distressed. So you can see how that's all moving out there. If you want to like, let's say a t-shirt color, we'll go back here. Let's not do the gradient. Um, we can do maybe a blue that's like a t-shirt color. So now you can see that is distressed. 
And like I said, you don't have to do the outline unless you want to, and you just want it all kind of like blending into that mock shirt or whatever reason you're using the distress. I just think if you go hardcore on the distress, you might want to put the outside so you can still kind of tell what the word is. But that's going to be a personal preference to you. Um, my background remover I use because I'm on the free version is removebg.com. So if you need to go over there because you're using free and need a background remover, use that. Of course, if you're in Canva, you have your own background remover, which you can do that. And like I said, it's a real simple thing that you can do. And now you have this where you can put it on any background that you want to. I can go and over here to uh, upload and well, I've got weird stuff in my uploads. So let's <laughs> go down here and get a photo. Um, you put that. Let's move this to the back real quick. And then you got a distressed over that. So, I mean, that's the tip. That's the technique. It's really simple. Just kind of splatter it all to death. Remove the background and put it on whatever you want. And that's that tutorial for today. Love you guys. Come back. Subscribe. See you on the next one.